Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate how to manipulate text strings with VBA code. Here we are showing how to replace all occurrences of a substring within a string with another substring. You are currently viewing sheet 3. Cell A2 contains the string in which all occurrences of S, small cap or capital S, they are replaced by the character question mark, which is appearing in cell A3. Now we have various options of doing this. We can use the VBA replace function or we can use the in string function along with the left and the mid functions. Now let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and see how these macros work. These macros are located in the standard code modules you see on the left module 1 to module 5. So our macros are located in module 4. Now let's run through this. You are viewing this sub. Here we are replacing all occurrences of substring which is we find occurring in the string var with another string substring we replace so we are finding we find we are looking for we find within var and replacing we find with we replace we start by activating sheet 3 followed by the dim statements Our, we, are, we have dimmed all these variables as variant. So which could include either a text string or numbers. So our string is located in cell A2 which has been assigned to the variable VAR. So this is the string within which we find the substring s assigned to the variable we find to be replaced by the question mark which is assigned to the variable we replace so we are looking for we find within var to be replaced by we replace we can also use these macros to delete all blank spaces if we assign a blank space character to we find and assign a zero length string to we replace so this will replace all spaces with a zero length string so basically deleting all spaces within var but now let's look at replacing s all occurrences of s within var by the substring by the character question we have two ways to perform a comparison. Comparison for we find the string which the substring which we wish to replace. We can have a case sensitive comparison which is a binary compa comparison using the value 0 or we can have a case insensitive comparison which is a text comparison using the value 1. So in this present case we are using a case insensitive comparison so we replace all occurrences of small cap s or capital s within var by the subst by the character question mark if our variable contains no valid data having a null value so if var is null then we exit the sub if var is not null then we look if we find that is the substring we are looking for to be replaced by we replace if we find is null or we find is zero length then we return the same string var in cell a3 we don't don't make any change or any replacement and then we exit the sub and now in case var or we find are not null 
and we find is not zero length. Then we call the replace str1 function and pass the three arguments, uh, the four arguments var, v find, v replace, and the comparison, the type of comparison to the to this function, which will return the final string after replacement, which value we enter in cell A3. Now let's look at the replace str1 function to which the four arguments have been passed by the sub. We have the dim statement here and now here we determine the position of the first occurrence of vfind within var by using the instring function. So var and we are looking for vfind which will return the integer i posn which is the position of its occurrence of vfind within var. Now if vfind is not found within var, so in that case i posn will be less than 1, then we just return the same string var without any replacement or any change. And if vfind is found within var, then we use the vba replace function within the string within var we we are looking for vfind which will be replaced by v replace using a case insensitive comparison so all occurrences of small cap s and capital s are replaced by question mark now let's look at the worksheet here we have all values of all occurrences of small cap s or capital s being replaced by question mark here so the returned string is in cell a3 after the replacements now let's see a second option of doing of replacing all occurrences of s in which we don't use the VBA replace function, we use the in string left and mid functions. Here the our macros are located in module 5. We have this sub replace str2 we, in which we first activate the sheet 3 followed by the dim statements. Again we are using variant data types the string to be in which the replacement has been to is done is located in cell a6 which is assigned to the var variable we find we are looking for the string all occurrences of the character s now this will only do a replacement of uh, uh, a case sensitive replacement. So here we will not be replacing in the capital S. We will be replacing only small cap S. The value is assigned to vfind and this is the character which will replace vfind. This is the v replace variable. So we start by determining in case our VAR is null. If it is, then we exit the procedure. If it is not null, then we determine if vfind is null or vfind is a zero length string. If it is, then we return the VAR string without making any change or replacement and enter it in cell A7, uh, cell A7 and exit the sub. If var or vfind are not null and vfind is not zero length, then we call the replace str2 function. We pass the three arguments, the string var, vfind, the substring to be replaced, v replace, the substring which replaces vfind. We pass these three arguments to this function, 
which will do the replacements and the value is final uh, uh, string is returned in cell a7 now let's look at the function which is called and in which the three arguments have been passed so all occurrences of v find within var are replaced by v replace and the replacement will only be case sensitive so only small cap s will be replaced we have the dim statements here we are using the in string function to return the position of first occurrence of v find within var we have the len function determining the length of v find the characters to be replaced this again the len function which is determining the length of v replace that is the characters the substring which will replace v find so here we determine if v find is present within var if the position is not less than 1 if it is less than 1 that means v find is not found within var then we return the var string as it is without any change or replacement and exit the function and if v find is found within var then now here we are not going to use the replace function in this case we have found v find within var and we want to replace it with v replace now we construct a string here the left function returns all the characters to the left of v find so where the position one less than where v find occurs is returned by this so all the characters to the left of v find not in, not including v find are returned by the left function we add the v replace string here and the mid function returns all the characters to the right of v find so i position plus the length of v find here we are starting we have omitted the character numbers from the mid function we are not using how many characters to return so this will return the text string from the start number this is the start number we have started from the character after where v find has been found and using the mid function will return all the characters from this start number position to the end of the text string so basically all the characters to the left of v find are returned by the left function we add v replace we add all the characters to the right of v find using the mid function and return the string which essentially replaces v find by v replace after this we determine the position of the occurrence of v find after the last replacement has been made so within the string this represents the starting position for searching v find and this starting position is the next character after the last replacement within the var we look for v find starting from the first character after the last replacement and we return the position so we keep on looping the do loop is done till v find is not found within the updated var so till v find is being found we are replace going to replace it with v replace till all occurrences are have been replaced by v replace here we replace 
uh, we return the final string to the function whose value is entered in cell A7. Now coming to the worksheet here, cell A6 contains the string in which all occurrences of S, small cap S, the search is being case sensitive, are replaced by the question character. So the capital S will remain as it is and all small cap S are replaced by the question mark. And here we have not used the replace function, the VBA replace function. We hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.